हेलो गाइस वेलकम एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल जेबीआर ऑनलाइन क्लासेस लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल सो हेलो एवरीवन आई इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट फ्रॉम सम नंबर 17 दिस इज अ थर्ड पार्ट फ्रॉम द एक्सरसाइज 7.2 प्लीज चेक द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स फॉर द प्रीवियस वन सो हियर इन सम नंबर 17 द मैन्युफैक्चरिंग प्राइस ऑफ अ टीवी सेट दैट इज 12000 ओके सो दैट इज हियर 12000 इज द मैन्युफैक्चरिंग प्राइस the company sold it to the dealer at 20% profit so as here sp equal to 12000 then into as here 20% profit so 120 by 100 then 00, 00 here cancel out so that you come to here 14400 so that is the sp clear and the dealer sold it to the customer at 12.5% profit find the price which the customer has to pay so as here asp so here this one the company's asp asp of the company now here you have to find out the asp of the dealer okay asp of the dealer and that will be also the cost price for the customer okay so here 14400 and again 12.5% profit that means here 112.5 by 100 now here 00, 00 cancel out so now here you have 144 multiply with 12 point sorry 112.5 so here it's 16200 as your answer now here the next one sum number 18 find the cost price when selling price equal to so as here sp equal to rupees 450 and here loss percentage of loss equal to 10% so now here you have to find out the cp so cp into loss means here 90 by 100 because 10% loss that one equal to 450 so cp equal to 450 into 100 by 90 00, 00 cancel out 95 za 45 so that an equal to 500 that is 81 now sorry 181 now the next one here again sp equal to here 690 and here profit equal to 15% so here cp into 15% profit means 115 by 100 that one equal to 690 so here cp equal to 690 into 100 by 115 so if you divide 690 by 115 it becomes 6 so that an equal to 600 as your answer 19 by selling an almira for rupees 3920 a shopkeeper would gain 12% that means here sp equal to here 3920 here the profit percentage that one equal to 12% if it is sold for rupees 4375 find his gain or loss percentage so as your cp into 112 by 100 that one equal to here 3920 so that means here cp equal to 3920 into 112 by 100 okay so it's not 112 by 100 it's 100 by 112 so write down here 100 by 112 Now, as here three nine two zero divided by one one two, it becomes thirty five. Okay, so that means CP equal to three five double zero. That is the CP. Now, if it is sold for rupees four three seven five, then definitely it will be here a profit. So here the profit amount equal to four three seven five minus three five double zero. So if you subtract four three seven five. Here three five double zero. That one equal to eight seventy five. So now here percentage of profit. That one equal to eight seventy five divided by three five double zero into hundred. So here zero zero cancel out. Now eight seventy five divided by thirty five. That one equal to here twenty five. So twenty five percent is your answer. Clear. Okay, now let's move on to sum number twenty. In sum number twenty, by selling a bicycle at rupees one three three four, a shopkeeper would suffer a loss of eight percent. So 
so that means here sp equal to rupees 1334 here loss equal to here 8 percent so cp into 8 percent loss means 100 minus 8 that is 92 by 100 that one equal to 1334 so that means here cp equal to 1334 into 100 by 92 so 1334 divided by 92 that one equal to here 14.5 so 14.5 into 100 it becomes 1450 as the cp clear now at how much amount should he sell it to make a profit so as here you have to make a profit 12 whole 1 by 2 that means here 25 by 2 percent so as here cp equal to 1450 so new sp equal to 1450 into here 100 plus it's 25 by 2 divided by 100 okay so 0 0 cancel out here it's 145 that one equal to here 2 is the lcm so it will be here 225 then divided by 2 into 10 okay so if you divide it so 5 to the 10 here 5 to the 10 5 9 the 45 so that means here first you have to multiply 29 into 225 that one equal to 6525 okay 6525 divided by 4 so your answer here it's 1631.25 okay 1631.25 as your answer now next one some number 21 by selling a tie for rupees so here sp equal to again 252 a shopkeeper gains 5% that means 5% profit so cp equal to sorry cp into as here 5% profit 105 by 100 that one equal to 252 so cp equal to here 252 into 100 by 105 so as here 5220 here 5221 now 252 divided by 21 that one equal to here 12 okay so that is 240 so cp equal to here 240 at what price should he sell the tie to gain 30 percent sorry 35 percent gain so that means here asp the new sp will be as 240 is the cp so 35 percent gain that means 135 by 100 zero, 0 cancel out here 5 to the 10 and then here 5 7 the 35 again 5 2 now it's 12 so here 12 into 27 and that one equal to here 3 to 4 as your answer okay now move on to next one sum number 22 so here in sum number 22 a shopkeeper sells a bag at 12 percent profit okay 12 percent profit if he had sold it for 39 rupees 39 more he would have made 18 percent profit find the cost price of the bag so first here let the cp or the cost price of the bag be x okay so here the cp of the bag be rupees x now as here 12 percent profit so sp equal to x into 112 by 100 so you can write down this one as rupees 112x by 100 that one is the sp clear cp equal to x and sp equal to 112x by 100 now if you want to make if you want to make 18 percent profit then the another sp or the new sp you can write down so it will be here x into 118 by 100 so that one equal to rupees 118x by 100 and according to the problem here 118x by 100 minus 112x by 100 that one equal to rupees 39 okay because here the difference between these two sp that one equal to 39 okay i hope it's clear so as here 100 is the lcm so you can write down here 118 minus 112x that one equal to here 39 so that means here 6x equal to 3900 then here x equal to 3900 divided by 
six and that one equal to six fifty. Okay, so six fifty is the cost price of the bag. Now next one here, sum number twenty three. In sum number twenty three, a shopkeeper sells a sweater at a loss five percent. If he had sold it two sixty more, that means again here CP. CP equal to rupees X. Let that one. So here SP will be here five percent loss. That means here ninety five X by hundred. Clear. So now if he had sold it two sixty more, he would make a profit fifteen percent. So that means here new SP equal to fifteen percent profit. That means one one five X by hundred. Now here according to the problem as same as the previous one. So if you subtract the first one from the second one, then it will be here two sixty. So that means here one one five x minus ninety five x that one equal to here two six zero into hundred. So here it's zero, it's two. So that one equal to two six zero into hundred. Now that one equal to five. So that means here x equal to zero zero. And it's one three double zero. Okay, one three double zero as your answer. Oh, sorry. Here x is the cost price, and now you have to find out, calculate the purchase price. That means SP. Oh, okay. So here SP equal to ninety five by hundred into one three double zero. So here zero zero cancel out. Now ninety five into thirteen, and that one equal to one two. Three five and that is your answer. Okay, one two three five. So here now the last one, some number twenty four. So guys, if you like my video, please please share this video and please subscribe my channel. So here, Janki sold her leather purse at eight percent loss. Okay, if he had sold it for one fifty more rupees, one fifty more, she would have made twelve percent profit. So first here CP equal to rupees X. Let that one. Then here SP will be as eight percent loss. That means ninety two X by hundred. Okay. Now if he had sold it one fifty more, she would have she would have made twelve percent profit. So that means here new SP as twelve percent profit. So it will be here one one two X by hundred. So according to the problem. Here this one minus the previous one and that one equal to here rupees one fifty. Okay, so here you can write down one one two minus ninety two. That means here zero. Here it's two. So twenty x equal to one fifty into hundred. Clear. So here zero zero cancel out and two it's fifty. So that one equal to here x equal to fifteen into fifty. That is seven fifty. Okay. So 750 is the cost price. Now you have to find out the selling price of the parts. So as here SP equal to you know 92 by 100 into X. X means here 750. So here zero uh, zero cancel out. Now here five. So five ones are five, and then five fives are so five twos are. Now here it's four, eight, and here six. So 46 into 15. So that one equal to 690. So six ninety is your SP.